Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, nowhere are you going to get more absurd odds that people are willing to take than the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. I'm guessing many of you right now are looking at games where the favorites are 10 to 1, if not higher, favorites, right? You're looking at teams like Arizona, like Kentucky, right? Like countless other teams, right? Wisconsin. And you're seeing long odds, and you're prepared to lay the long odds to take the favorite. Let me just offer a bit of advice to those of you thinking of betting on Kentucky. What I would do if I were you is I'd bundle the play. I don't normally recommend parlays, but I'd do a money line parlay. Rather than lay those ridiculously long odds, I'd do a money line parlay where I would bundle Kentucky on a money line to beat Hampton with another dominant team like Arizona, right? Um, I would bundle those two in a money line parlay. I would keep the parlays to two games at most, right? Well, let's try to go big game hunting. I want better rods than a minus 1,000 or a minus 1,500, which is what you're getting in some of these NCAA games. What if I told you that I could take one of the dominant athletes of our time, right, at a minus 300 in a big-time tennis tournament, right? The WTA Indian Wells, big-time tennis tournament. The athlete I'm talking about suffered her worst beating, right, her worst beating of the last 12 months at the hands of her opponent right so she's loaded for bear this is a big time match between the number one ranked player in the world serena williams and her nemesis the number three ranked player in the world right simona halep now understand these two played last year and Serena Williams got blown out in straight sets. Six love and six two. Let me repeat that. Serena Williams got blown out to the point where she only wins two games and getting blown out in two sets. Right? It's her worst loss of the last 12 months. So understand what happened next. The two women played again. This time, Serena Williams was ready. Blew out Halep in two sets. 6-3 and 6-love. Right? In other words, Serena Williams bounced back and she did so with a vengeance. Well, these two are at it again at Indian Wells. And understand... When you're dealing with a superstar athlete, right, and you need to view Serena Williams really on par with people like Floyd Mayweather and Michael Jordan and Roger Federer when he was in his prime, right? The superstars remember the worst beatings they've had. They remember the opponents who had the best matches against them. Right? I like to take superstars. I like to take big time talent in matches that I believe have meaning to them. Because then I don't have to worry about whether the superstar is focused, whether the superstar is motivated, whether the superstar has overlooked the opponent in the upcoming match. Right? Motivation is not going to be a problem for Serena Williams against Simona Halep. So, I like Serena Williams here, and believe it or not, you're getting Serena Williams at less than a minus 300. Just compare and contrast that to the absurd odds you're getting 
in the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. Right? Here, I get arguably the world's best tennis player. And I'm getting her at a minus 300 or less. Right? I believe she's going off at less than a minus 280 right now. I'm getting great odds on her in a match that's going to be meaningful to her. Think about it. I like Serena Williams here. I think this is a better play than the long odds you're getting by taking, you know, a greater than 30 point favorite Kentucky over Hampton, right? Or the long odds you're getting by taking Arizona over a team that scored less than five more points on average than they gave up, right? Here, I get the superstar the top shelf, the number one ranked player in the world against an opponent who gave her the worst beating in the last 12 months who she has already won since then against, right? I like Serena Williams here. I hope you give it a look. You should get significant odds. We're talking about the WTA Indian Wells Tournament, the one Serena refused to appear at for years. Understand, this tournament is meaningful for Serena Williams on a host of levels. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.